quick introduction, the trailer that we picked up yesterday. Today's the day I'm gonna get it inside ready for assembly and I've got a problem for a start. So this is what we got. Right, but in order to flip it upside down, I thought I'd better make it a bit more rigid and put, put this front gate on. But as you can clearly see, it don't fit. And not only does it not fit, it doesn't close. So I wondered if they got the two ends mixed up. So I've gone to the back and couldn't undo this because it was under so much pressure because it was jammed on there. Right. This one likewise doesn't shut. So I'm guessing they've either put the bolts in the wrong holes or there's supposed to be a spacer on there or something. Something is absolutely not right about how they started to assemble this trailer. So we're gonna to have to mess with it a bit and um, see what goes on, but that's not designed to be jammed under there. And, and these hinges here don't pass the trailer. So before I start, it's all wrong. So we're gonna to have to take it apart and see what it is they've done here. Okay, so I've got this in and upside down so I can see what's going on. So there's a definite issue with these tailboard bits. Not quite sure what that is. So this upturned now mudguard. I don't know what's going on there. It's got two holes in there, but nothing in the chassis. I mean, this, this can't be right, can it? I know these trailers are cheap, but... So I've laid this, I've taken the dolly wheel off and laid it upside down to kind of see how it's got to go. And uh, it appears to be held on at the front with just one bolt into there. can't imagine that's right we've got all these additional holes in here and then these bent brackets the one of which is missing these bolt on there and then those two holes there line up with those two holes there so I guess the bolt ins all right at the front although of course I've either got to make up a plate or weld this side and gusset weld it. Great, you'd think we can do that. But it's made out of tin foil. It's, it's, it, there's nothing to weld to. quite underwhelming <laughs> that's that's what it is so uh right well i'll get this uh temporarily bolted in first at this end and then it'll put it in its right position and then i can look at it again but mm, i'm assuming this is the new breed of disposable vehicle The galvanising on it is done really bad, which means, well, I can already see rust coming, which means in this environment, it's probably not going to fare too well, but what concerns me most is that the tail gate and the front gate don't even begin to fit properly. The other thing that concerns me is there seems to be a lot of holes everywhere, and this is obviously for multiple applications, but some of the things that should have holes in don't have holes in. Like the mudguard, they have two holes to hold them on, but only one, I don't even know if we can see there, one boltable position in the chassis, assuming they're in the right place, of course. 
so uh, we could have a look at this one that's not on. No, there are two holes there. In the right. Do you know what's slightly concerning me? Right, and I'm going to say it at this stage, just because it's slightly concerning me. I might be slightly concerned. This has been assembled backwards. I don't know why I'm thinking that. Because I can't find any instructions online. But I am thinking that. Because underneath this mud guard, See what's missing over there? Hmm. I don't know. Yeah, there's definitely another hole, but it's it's there. Uh, before I set to and start with this, I might just want to do a bit more research, just in case the rails something. Something's screaming at me that something's not right about this. Just the fact that there's a lot of things that don't fit. There are a lot of things that don't fit. There's a lot of things that are not sitting right and there's a... So other than the obvious, right, number plate holder, lights which they fitted and pop riveted on before the trailer is finished with its assembly something's not right and this is where i think they got to i think they got to a stage obviously this bracket was missing they say but see this is kind of all bent in here you see how bent in this is it's, it's hard to say but that's all bent in there and this one's bent as well, like they've been forcing something. Something's not right. See, this is this is the plate here. This is definitely the front. So this cross member is right, but it is is it up the right way? We'll find out when we come to do the brackets in a minute. Yeah, it's upside down, so it must be up the right way. Yeah. And then these seem a little short, almost like they're not the right brackets for the sides. Because there's the sides only, there's, there's just one bolt in here and one bolt in here. And that holds on this entire side. And yet, I'm pretty sure this has only got one. Yeah, okay, well, let's scratch my head a bit on this and put that A-frame in, I think, but I'm not sure if these got uh, washers or spacers or, I'm not really sure what's not right about this, but something don't fit. Anyway, we're gonna start part assembly by Dropping some nuts and bolts in here loose and then seeing where we are with the brackets. All right, so I've just dropped a couple of nuts in there to hold it in where I think was the right position. I came in this outer hole first, but then this plate didn't line up. And we can see there that it, it lines up. So the plate that is missing on the other side, well, that's the same shape, but it's opposite. As you can see, there's nothing I can do with this that will get it even close to being the right. So I've got to make another bracket the same shape as that, but this bend has to be in the opposite direction. And then you can see if I hold that, if I was to hold that like that, 
and the bend was in the opposite direction, it would fit in there. So first thing is, find a piece of steel, score this out the same shape, cut it out, drill it, bend it in the reverse way to fit onto there. So, uh, yeah. Let's see if we can find a bit of that. If not, we're skip diving. Right, I found a bit of steel the same thickness, so uh, the general shape we need. I can, I can get out of this. Some more magnets somewhere, but anyway, it moves a little bit. Okay, so that should give us our flat size shape. We'll cut on that line, and then by the time we've taken off all the nasty edges, that will be near enough. Um, I won't mark up for the holes yet because I want to. I want to clean it up. Right, so we'll cut that out, clean it. Then we'll bend it. Then we'll put it in place. And then we'll put the holes in last because I'm not confident enough with what I've got to bend it that I can get the bend in exactly the right place. And if I can't get the bend in exactly the right place, then it will put my holes out. So uh, let's clean that up and cut that up. So this is our, our rough shape. We're going to deburr it and clean it up.
So once we've got this, we've got to establish which way round it goes. And which way the bend goes. So we want the opposite bracket to that. So the bend's got to go the opposite way. So firstly, as we can see, the bend is not between those two points. It's kind of there. It's also very clearly not at 90 degrees. So I think what we'll do is mark that up and then attempt to bend that in the vice. So they're opposites. So we'll just go and dump that in some water and then we'll mark it up for the holes. Okay, so that was that cooled. So we'll take these over to where they've got to be fitted. <clears throat> so we know this one's this side. Leave that there. We also know that fits like that. What on earth is that? Don't know what that is. So that means this one must fit. Oh, yeah. Like that. Right. Now we just hold that in place, mark it up and drill the holes. So we need to know what size holes these are. Put that end in there, open it up for all, you, for all of those that know, you know. The reason I'm showing this is for the youngsters that don't know. Right, so I haven't got my glasses on, got my safety glasses on, but I haven't got my glasses on so I can't see. Hello puppy, what are you doing? Waiting. Um, so then we need to get the right drill bit size um, and we're probably going to need a couple of drill bits because we won't be able to do this in one. Again, for those that you know, where's my other hole? Oh, there it is. Okay, centre punch, clicky centre punch. Centre of the hole. Hmm. That one might not be in the middle of that. That is. Best if you do it right first time. Now, if you haven't done that before, you probably want to mark these out a bit more accurate. If you've done it as many times as I have, you don't need to. There's our drill bits. We start with the small one, and we go to this one, and then we finish with this one.
There we go. Lovely. That'll work. So uh, we'll just go and chuck some paint on this and then bolt up the other side. And then we dry. Okay, so I uh, didn't have any spray paint, which is a shame. That's the good side. That's the side we already had. This is the bracket I've just made up and bolted on. Uh, all I had was silver hammerite. So that, anyway, that's what it is. Brackets on, tightened down at the other end. So that's the A-frame. That was the big problem solved. That lack of bracket was meant that this has been sat for more than a month with nothing going on. So that's that done. <laughs> okay, so uh, now we're going to look at these ridiculous... I mean, I mean, really. Okay, we're going to put the mud guards on and fit the lights. Oh, another problem, lights. So the lights fit in there, like so. Right, wave the camera about, cable goes through a hole, light bolts on there. Right, there's a reason they're not fitted. And that is because this is what we have left. And it looks to me like these should go in there, but they don't. And they do appear to be threaded. But I've got nothing that goes in there. So then I got out a tray and I could go on and on and on for hours with the amount of nuts and bolts I've got. Nothing fits. So, we drill it. Right, try this up the right way. Just fitted the other lights. We've got the two lights on. We've got the brackets on and finished and tightened up. Right now, these things here. They also have holes at the top that looks like they could be bolted through the sides. 
so I just I don't know about you but they're gonna bounce around and
a lot easier with the wheel off and messing around. So we've got all new bolts in there now. All right, that's uh, back together. And uh, for whatever reason, once I'd got these, so I put two, two new nuts and bolts in these now because they only had one before. And uh, I'm just not happy with that. And this side, two new ones. And it means I had to, uh, you know, re, we drill the side there, but I mean, they're very, yeah, I, I, I like it now. And there's no floppage movement in the, the guards there. So I'm much, much happier with that. And um, it means he hasn't got to do anything to it except tow it. Uh, so uh, next thing to do is take it outside plug it into the back of the van, plug the lights in, make sure that all our lovely new lights are working, and then um, go and deliver it. And that'll be that. Hope we can safely say that works. That probably means all of these are gonna work. There we go. Working. Okay, let's go and deliver it then. 